Welcome to the second video in this Raya Pro series. We're going to see how easy luminosity masking is with the Raya Pro panel. We no longer have to use the channels palette. We no longer have to manually subtract panels. We even have presets that will choose the darker areas for you so that you can instantly recover your shadows. Let me show you how easily we can use luminosity masks through Raya Pro. Here we have some overexposed highlights here and here. And we have a darker exposure that we'll use to restore those highlights. In the Raya Pro panel under Luminosity Masks, we're going to choose one of our brights. And let's say we'll choose Brights 3. Now we can see the marching ants that mark our selection, but we now have a very useful tool so that we can visualize that selection. If we go down to Preview Overlay and press On, all of the areas that are marked pink will show us exactly what is selected in our mask. Or if you prefer the traditional black and white mask, we can just click on See Mask, and we can see the traditional mask. It looks like Brights 3 will give us the selection we want, so if we just press Ctrl and H, and with the correct paintbrush, we can choose our mask, set the foreground to black, and instantly restore those highlights. And if we want, we can restore the highlights on the side of the road too. So this is a before and after. That's how easily Raya Pro will help us blend exposures using luminosity masks. For more complex luminosity masking, where we need to subtract masks, we can simply choose a mask, let's say Darks 3, and we can subtract it with any mask down here. So we can choose, let's say Dark 4, and Dark 5, and Dark 6. And again, to see our mask, we can just choose Preview Overlay, and all of the areas in pink mark our selection. However, if you want to speed this process up, you could use one of my Luminosity Mask Shadow Presets. These are Luminosity Mask Presets that I use to recover shadows, and we have four options. And if we want, we press the deselect button here and we can choose dark one and we can preview the mask. Or we can choose dark two and we can preview that mask. Or we can go to dark four and preview that mask. Let's say if we want to go with dark four, we can press control and H and turn the mask off and we can go to the layer mask of our darker exposure and we have a brighter exposure underneath. To restore some of the rock, we simply choose our paintbrush and a black foreground and paint in the rock. And here's a quick before and after. And as quickly as that, we've restored an underexposed area. You can still very easily subtract channels, but with these presets, the whole process is much easier and much quicker. We have one more luminosity mask function that I'm really excited about. It gives us the ability to create a mask which perfectly suits our needs. For example, in this image, we have a darker exposure with an ideal sky and a normally exposed image with an overexposed sky. If I just create a black mask on the darker exposure, we can look at the channels and see that we can't really get a perfect selection of the sky and the foreground. Ideally, we need the sky to be white and the foreground to be black or extremely dark gray. But using Raya Pro, we can shape that mask easily. All we need to do is to choose our mask, let's say Brights 3, we can inspect it to make sure it's the right mask for us. Then we can go down to manual. And by choosing manual, we'll see our mask and we can manipulate this mask by moving the highlight slider, the shadow slider, or the midtone slider. And I'm just going to bring the highlights all the way along and the midtones along to darken the building. And again, just push those highlights a little bit further. And now we can see we have a very clean and crisp selection of the sky against the building. And if we're happy with that, we just press OK. You can see the marching ants that mark our selection. If we just press Ctrl and H, click on the mask, create a white paintbrush, and just gently paint in the sky. And there we have it, a perfect mask to suit our needs. And all we did was press one button and move the slider. That's how easy Raya Pro makes our whole luminosity mask experience. In the next video, we're going to take our images beyond digital blending and look at how we can enhance them beautifully with just a few clicks in the Raya Pro panel.